Hello everyone and welcome to some campfire. Today we are going to be making pipe cleaner flower fairies. So we're going to be learning how to make these and they are our second part of our fairy village that we're creating today. So we'll go over our material list first about what you'll need. So the first thing is you will need a fabric flower and a daisy type works well. So one um, where the center comes out pretty easily and that this can work well as like a tutu or a skirt, um, however you want to look at that. The next thing that we're going to need, pipe cleaners. I have kind of a hodgepodge of pipe cleaners here. So I'm just using what I have. Um, the examples, of course, are very like color coordinated and everything, but I'm using what I've got. The next thing that you are going to need is a wooden bead. So a wooden bead is used for the face of the fairy and you can use whatever color you have. I happen to have two of the correct size. So one of them I used for our example here um, and that's our a, purple one and then I also have a pink one. So I'll be having purple and pink faced fairies and that's just fun. All right, then to put things together and kind of make everything happen, you need glue. You can either use like liquid glue, like Elmer's glue, or you can use hot glue. I'm choosing to use hot glue today. Um, it just dries a lot quicker. If you're using Elmer's glue, you'll have to like put it down and wait for it to dry for a while. But that's totally up to you. If Elmer's glue is what you have, that is fine. It will work. It'll just take longer to dry. All right, and then we need wire cutters, or my favorite wire cutters are on my needle nose pliers. This part here can be used as a wire cutter. Nothing super strong, it just has to be able to cut the flower stem, which has a wire in it. And then if you want to um, cut any of the pipe cleaners, you can do that easily with this. It just, you know, if you cut, um, if you cut those things with scissors, it's going to wear the scissors down and just be a little more frustrating. So if you have these, that'll work better. Um, if you only have scissors, it'll just take more effort to do it. So you can use scissors though. Oh, and then uh, you'll need markers to put a face on your fairy. Or in this case, this one, since it was dark purple, I was like, well, I'm going to use white out because I'm going to use what I have to make my fairy look like a fairy. Step one in making our fairy, our flower fairy, is to take our flower apart. So I got these, I've had these around, I don't know, I think I got them in clearance at like Walmart or something um, in the fall. Uh, and I actually do, <laughs> I am using um, things that I decorate my house with. So I've kind of taken these apart. So you want something that you can fairly easy take take apart. You might need help with this. Um, I actually noticed there was like this little tiny bit of glue at the bottom here so I just kind of broke that little bit of glue off with my finger and then I'm sliding this down and these all come apart. Like all of these are separate. I'm gonna try and keep them together the best I can. Uh, you do not need this piece. So you can just set that aside. And then this piece here is still on there but it pops off and you want to keep this piece because this will be like the top of the fairy's head or their hat, if you will. Okay, so we have all of this taken apart and you could use, if you have a larger hole in the middle of the flowers, you could use a um, popsicle stick, something like this for the middle, but I'm simply going to keep using the the green stem. I figured out it works quite well to do that and then you don't have to like cut the flower apart anymore and we're you know we're reusing parts um, that already exist. The first thing that we need to do is we're going to put the flower on so that most of the leaves are hanging down. So whereas it was more like this before, we want, them, we want them upside down, essentially. We want to make them as much like a skirt or a tutu as possible. We're going to just put those back on. Right. Then we're going to take the bead 
going to put that on and we're going to take the top and put that on. All right, so clearly we need some body in between here. It's not going to work if it's just the head and then and then the tutu. So what we're going to do first is create some arms. So I am going to use we're going to have some brown arms here. I'm going to use these brown arms. I'll angle it down so you can see what's happening. And I'm just going to kind of fold it in half and then wrap it around like she'd be giving you a hug. Anyway, so I'm going to leave the arms out like this. We'll be able to move them a little bit later. But now we're going to create like the, the body part. So for this, I have a few colors here and I am going to go with a yellow. All right, and with this part, you do want a little bit above the arms because our arms, you know, there's a little space between our arms and our head. So I'm gonna kind of create and wrap this around. This is more about the spacing. I like to have this stuff on here just to make sure that we don't have like a super long body um, or anything like that. So we have our body now. And then we have her skirt. So now she's looking much more like a fairy. But we've still got a ways to go. All right. So I'm going to move her arms to make her. You could leave them. You could like leave them so that she can move them and do different arms or kind of bring them together. Totally up to you. The nice part about pipe cleaners, you can move them all over. Next thing that I'm going to do is just add a tiny dab of glue here and that is just to help the skirt stay up while I'm working on the legs. So if you're using hot glue make sure that you're very very careful with it or you ask for help in using hot glue. All right, so that's just going to help it stay up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to put a dab at the bottom as well, just so it doesn't fall down either. So it doesn't take very much at all. Just a little dab and give it a moment to dry. And while that is drying, I'm going to pick out my legs. All right, I'm going to go with purple legs. All right, and to make the legs, you want a full-size pipe cleaner. And what you're going to do is bend it in half. I don't know what all these white fuzzies are on here, but they're on here. That's okay. All right, so you have it bent in half. Now you're going to take each side and bend it towards that center. All right. And then you can create your feet. There you go, you have your feet or your legs. So this looks, yep, this looks like it's dry. So now we want to leave a little bit of this on so that we can attach our legs well, but this is clearly way, way, way too long. So I'm going to come up here and snip off a lot. Oops, if I get it in the right place. There we go. A lot of our extra green stem part. Okay. All righty. So now we have the legs and we're ready to attach them. So I'm just going to kind of wind the legs around here. Make sure that the feet are on well. Our 
rebend the feet, make sure that they're looking good. And then to make sure that stays on, another little dab of glue. And put some at the top of the legs too, just to help make sure that stays on. And then you can still move the legs. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a moment to dry. Just a couple more steps here to finish up our flower fairy. So the first thing is that I just wanna make sure that this top flower stays on because right now it could pop off really easily and then her head would come off. So I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna take this part off temporarily and carefully. Oh, it's on there better than I thought. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue here to help make sure that our fairy head stays on. All right, and the next part is just to finish drawing on the fairy's face. And you just want a simple face. So two eyes and a mouth. And do your best you can to line that up with her hands, though right now her head still moves a bit. And here we go. So now, oh wait, I have wings to make. I almost forgot the wings, that would have been terrible. All right, so in the next part we're gonna do are the wings. And I do have some shiny pipe cleaner, so I'm gonna use that for the wings, just because shiny is fun. To make the wings, I'm going to Lightly fold it in half. You don't want to make a super big crease, but just enough where you can tell where it is. And you're going to, similar to the legs, you're going to fold them into that crease, but you're just going to wrap it around and let it be a loop so that they are wings. You can reshape them and make them your wings. All right, I made two of them, They're pretty much the same. One I might shape a little bit differently. And now I'm going to glue them on to the back of our fairy. Once again, make sure you're very, very careful with when using hot glue. It does not feel good to burn yourself. Actually, I'm going to use my needle nose pliers just to kind of push down on there, making sure I'm not burning myself with the glue. So my top wings. I'm just going to add a little more glue for the bottom wings. It is totally fine for them to overlap. And again, finding something that you can push down with is going to be really helpful and really helpful in you not getting burned by the hot glue. I just found some, did not feel good. Okay, there we go. Now she looks better. Here are our fairies. Here are our fairy houses. You'll have to tune in to find out what's next. Mm -hmm.